is called the land of opportunity. You have some wonderful candidates. Its current leaders have made that once great party into the plaything of the left, the hobby.
sees, he sees an America in which every day is tense day, the 4th of July. thugs who had taken over that months. Then we can make it possible for every American, young and old, <laughs> and in areas rural and in our great inner cities, and using tax incentives, bring industry in there to provide jobs and get people off in Bethune and the Congress and there. I think they can bust it out of there. <laughs> We give our workers the tools they need. I have always believed this, and I believe it more than ever. Any place, any time. I'll crack down on crime. Produce the sharpest drop ever. We reversed the decline in our military defenses and restored respect. For America. Things that I'm proud of in this job, nothing has made me more proud than those young men and women that are in the uniform of our military today. We're going to turn over to you an America that is free in a world at peace. never go back. We were born to be a kind of special place. I've always believed that, that this great land was placed here between the two great oceans to be found by a special kind of people from every corner of the earth. People with a love of freedom that made them pick up and leave the impossible. When I was a much younger individual, we survived a great depression that toppled governments in many countries of the world. We came back from Pearl Harbor to win the greatest military victory the world has ever known.
its governors also in our nation, my friend Terry Branstead. And I think of the group and all the other great Americans who claim this state as their home, I have is top choice America, America cut thick and brown. Tyson wrote, Mr. President, my mom and dad watch you on television every night. They can. I watch you too. I think you're going to be able to stay up until the very end. <laughs> you know, just four years from an interest rates and wrapped by a wrong-headed grain embargo. And since then, with the help of Roger Jepson and Chuck Grassley in the Senate, with Tom Talkey and Jim Leach and Cooper Evans in the House, we've worked hard to turn America around. We've cut inflation by two-thirds, lifted that grain embargo in the Senate with honor and skill. His opponent, Tom Harkin, is one of the most liberal leaders in the House that Iowa pork producers have with the growth of Canadian hog imports into our country. And I want you to know that I have directed Secretary Baldrige Roger stands proudly for all of you in Iowa. And I'll need Roger back in Washington, especially when we... Jim Leach, Tom... Just after our tax cuts, he said that the most he could see was more than six million. <laughs> My opponent said that Deacon could persuade him to predict an absolute disaster. He says he cares about the middle quoted legislation time after time, which increases taxes on my own constituents. He's no doubt promised to raise your taxes, but if he's to keep all the promises he's made, that comes out to better than $150 a month. That's like having... His tax plan would bring us... He sees an American... America, you had to travel and still have to travel is something I care about personally. You've been, haven't had to overcome the killer inflation of 1979 and 1980. Our job, Mr. Carter and Mr. Mondale, had not imposed that ineffective and totally wrong headed brain embargo that I mentioned earlier. said something this past week that I've got to answer. He said, and I quote, the impact of the grain embargo is a fairy tale. Those were his words. On another subject a little farther away, I'm proud to say that during these last four years, I've been Mr. Gresham. Well, there so, there's so much that baffles him. One year ago, we lived... My opponent called what we did 
a violation of international law that erodes our moral authority. Goose of Bugatana. I just said in there to his daughter, but that, that was one of my great regrets that we never What do you think he would have to say about Walter Mondale? <laughs> uh, pretty much what I've been saying. Oh, what about the tax plan? How well did you know him, Mr. President? What? How well did you know him? Oh, I knew him very well. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'll give you one little insight. Back at the time when the actors had the President of the Guild. Uh, Nancy sometimes would idly even go about the business of the meetings and everything that we were having, and she would be upset by 
the press and some of the things that were being said about us. And uh, Duke Wayne, and this was before we knew him when. things to bucker up and all. Do you think he'd take the Green Berets into Nicaragua? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd just win by himself. What's <laughs> 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 your imitation of John Wayne? What? Are you doing John Wayne imitation? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't try that. <laughs> I'm a little better at Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Mr. President, why did you come to Iowa? Why did you come to Iowa, really? You were I have anything wrapped up. I'm a pessimist about that. Do you, do you think you can pull this out for Senator Jepson? Uh, He's behind according to the polls. <laughs> well, I don't believe those polls. Well, you're ahead according to the polls. Well, I don't Which believe way? those either. <laughs> you think you're That's going why I'm to lose? You've been a fine senator. I'm sure the people of Iowa are going to see you in that way. You making Mr. any President, predictions you now? Said this already uh, rejected that. But the truth is, I have seen nothing of what they're, they're looking at everything. I have seen what they were looking at, but I use that expression because it is an expression that means, uh, as definitely as I can say it, that I am opposed to tax increases and will continue to be so. But right after I said it, I will admit I hope that no one took me literally. <laughs> the Treasury Department is planning tax changes that would what? raise certain people's rates. Treasury Department has these plans. Well, they may they may be things they're looking at, but they know, uh, and we won't know until we're presented with a recommended plan. But we're not going to raise people's rates. Well, you're not for wiping out deductions, so right. are you? You're not wiping uh, for wiping out. I mean, you're not against wiping out some of the deductions. Well, I haven't seen anything, Helen, of what they're talking about. They're talking about some compensating factor. Remember, we want also simplification of the tax, which has become so complex. And so if they're looking at something of that kind where it's got to be an even trade, we're not going to, under the guise of, of uh, reform, 